I think the whole universe is conscious. I think that consciousness is a, an ontological primitive. You can't get behind it and find something that causes it. And that is in keeping with the traditions of many cultures, particularly in the East, that consciousness is something primary. But if you think about a stone, is it conscious or not? It's very difficult for us to imagine that it itself is conscious. But what would you say to this idea that it is part of a bigger system, a whole, which is conscious? And so we come to the idea that panpsychism can mean two things or both of them. Either that psyche is in everything or everything is in psyche. My way of thinking of it is that everything is in psyche and partakes of its nature. And what matter is, is a form of psyche that provides two very important elements if the universe is to be creative. And I believe the simplest thing that you can observe about the universe, and we find it hard to disagree about, is that it is creative. And for that creativity, you need two things that matter gives, resistance and persistence. Without resistance, my thought can go anywhere and there's nothing to get purchase on. And without persistence, it comes and goes, but there is nothing that can take part in the unfolding of the panoply of the cosmos. So... I see matter as a kind of phase of consciousness that is very important because of persistence and resistance. What do you feel about that? <laughs>